Hello guys, this is your reading for September. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's going on with you guys in love for the month of September. What's going on with Cancer? These should be messages for Cancer and love. The Hierophant, thinking about committing to someone, having something traditional, Taurus energy there. What's crossing? Cancer. Seven of Pentacles. But you don't know if it's a good investment. <laughs> you don't know if this person is really the one. You know, should you wait um, for something better? Wait, wait to see if it like progresses and you get to a point where you really are sure and you know. Strong Taurus here. <clears throat> what is the underlying issue for Cancer? Ten of Cups, you definitely want to be happy. You don't want to just be with somebody just because they provide stability. You want them to speak to your heart, speak to your soul. You want to be happy. You want everything. The stability, the emotional um, security, the emotional happiness. You know, you want to be attracted to this person. You want everything. Not just because this person provides stability and they may be... Um, uh, well off financially, not hurting for anything. You want more than that. You want depth. Piscean energy there. Oh, okay. Of course, this is like feeling um, deceived and feeling like you've been stabbed in the back. So, you want to ride or die. You want somebody that's going to be there for you regardless, somebody that you can trust. Because you don't want to start over. You don't want to do something and then regret it is a thing. You don't want rejection. You know, <clears throat> my recent past for cancer, please show me. The Knight of Swords. I feel like somebody's been pressuring you. They've been pressuring you to, like, commit. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Hmm. Somebody's been, I feel, really kind of, like, putting the pressure on. Like, you know, either you giving you an ultimatum. Chronic thoughts for cancer. Page of Swords. <sighs> You're not really buying it though. And you really don't have much to say on this subject. You really don't. It's like nobody can persuade you to do something that you don't want to do. Period is what I'm hearing. And I feel like, you know, whenever this person starts with you, you just kind of shut it down because you'll commit when you want to commit to who you want to commit to is what I'm hearing here. What's coming in for Cancer? Five of Cups. For some of you, this is you turning down somebody and you know extending yourself to someone else and being like hurt so basically sliding one person for another person and it almost kind of like um, you almost feeling like you made the wrong choice that you know maybe you should have committed to this person maybe you should have given this person what they wanted because I, I'm seeing like this this investment somewhere else and you having regrets surrounding um, a decision that you made somewhere else feeling hurt um, and feeling that sorrow feeling that loss Scorpio energy. How is Cancer viewing this situation? 
the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, this is a breakup again. For some of you, because tens are endings. But for some of you, you know, you you feel. I feel like you're not following your intuition for a lot of you, because the person that is pressuring you, you really see like everything with. But I think the fact that they are pressuring you is going to make you turn away. That is what's getting to you, is the fact that um, you, you're feeling the pressure, you're feeling the, almost like, you know, the ultimatum, like, if I don't do this, then they're threatening to walk away or, you know, something like that. But I see you guys having a lot of regrets surrounding something and turning your back on this commitment here. But this has the potential to be very, uh, very happy, stable situation for you guys. So keep that in mind for those of you um, that this reading is really resonating with, okay? What is the influence here for Cancer? What is the influence for Cancer? The Nine of Pentacles. I, I feel like there's somebody else that, you know how things can seem like they are so wonderful if you're on the outside looking in. And I feel like there's somebody else that you guys have your eye on that looks so appealing to you because they they are exuding confidence they are exuding um, uh, the finances the financial stability rather and that looks appealing to you because this person is not up your ass that's the thing this person has like their back turned to you and it's like it's it's is, is kind of making you, it's kind of turning you on and is drawing you closer to them because they seem like they have it all together. I don't feel like this person right here truly has it all together, honestly. I feel like this person, um, they're lacking something. I don't feel like they're truly happy, whoever this is. But I see you extending to this person. This could be the same person. You're not turning, you're turning your back on commitment, but you're still like, you know, trying to offer them something. But being that you won't commit, they're like, mm, no, you know. But either way, I see this person not truly being happy being single. But this person has standards. This person has standards. So this could very well be the same person that's standing their ground and saying, if you don't commit to me, then, you know, you're giving me no choice but to be single and to look elsewhere. It could definitely be that situation, okay? <clears throat> What's the hopes and fears for cancer? Then we have a three of wands. Fire energy here, Aries. Hmm. You know, I'm definitely getting two different people here. There's somebody that you want acceptance for or from. I'm getting strongly. You want this person to um, look at you like you are valuable as a human being, as a partner. Somebody that you're very attracted to, somebody that you communicate with, I feel. You want this person to open up to you.
What's the overall for Cancer here? Two of Swords not making a decision. Not making a decision. I feel like you guys are caught between two situations here. There's somebody that looks very appealing to you. But there's somebody that you, I feel like, for a lot of you are already with, that you are involved with, but thinking about leaving this situation because there's like too much pressure here and the pressure is almost like turning you off, even though there is a lot of potential in this situation. Okay, so we have Libra, Aries, Taurus, a strong Aquarius, Scorpio, um, Virgo, and Piscean energy, guys. So that is what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.